If you like this video, why not subscribe? Interior, sitting room, night. Stephen is covered in a blanket with only his right arm exposed. He tries to move, but winces in pain. On the coffee table to his right is a syringe and a small hockey puck shaped device with a blinking red light. You just heard an excerpt from Collection Day, my grad thesis film that I'll be shooting in October. And as you heard from, from that reading, I'm looking for a hockey puck shaped device as one of my props. So for the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month, I'm going to show you the props that I've found so far. This is a hockey puck shaped LED light from Dollar Tree. It's got three LEDs. You push on the top, the light comes on. Um, I could, in effect, replace or actually put a red gel underneath this clear plastic section here to make it red. However, it wouldn't blink. So I would, if I wanted a blinking effect, I could do something in post. Or I could replace the electronics in here to make these lights blink. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, I could always leave it off, I guess. Actually, I think I would probably start with it on, and then when the character sees it, they activate it by doing that, and then whatever happens, happens. Uh, but again, this is only a dollar, nothing to really modify here too much. So it's not only the least expensive of the options I will show you, but also the easiest. Next up, we've got this uh, mini light strike target from Walmart. They, these are on clearance right now for two bucks. And uh, this has a nice sci-fi look to it. Again, it also it runs on three AAA batteries. And when you turn it on, it does this. Now, Light Strike is a laser tag knockoff, and this is an accessory that will allow you to shoot at it with the various Light Strike guns, and it changes colors based on whatever team your gun is on. So, the majority of the Light Strike colors turn your team color, you win. Um, for my purposes, uh, if I wanted to use some kind of a practical blinking effect, I would have to take the guts out of this and replace them with something that blinks. Maybe an LED blinking light kit. I'd also have to change this top here, which as you can see says LS. And I would have to sand that down or something to get rid of that so it looked a little more uh, universal or generic or whatever. Uh, but that's not a bad option. This one again is $2. It's a little bigger, not as sleek and compact as this. Uh, but just gives kind of a, a different sci-fi style look. And my final uh, option I have here is from eBay. Now I actually bought this a couple of years ago. This is a palm induction charger uh, called the Touchstone, Palm Touchstone. And what you would do is you would take your Palm Pre or Pixie and it would magnetically attach to this and charge without any cables, which I thought was, was pretty cool. Uh, but since the Palm phones are now extinct, you can pick these up brand new on eBay for about $7.50. I'll provide links below to all this stuff so you can get a better look at it. Um, but this uh, does not have any external electronics like these do, so if you wanted to do any kind of a practical blinking effect, you really couldn't with this. You would have to do something in post, maybe like this. And you would also have to deal with getting rid of that Palm logo on the top there, either covering it with a mat or something, or even gaffer's tape. Uh, would do it if you have a nice perfect circle uh, because this is small and if it's any if it's being seen in any kind of a close-up I don't think I'd recommend doing the gaffer's tape version but you still have to deal with that logo which in this you really don't so again you've got three different options here uh, you've got something from Dollar Tree which takes the least amount of modification you've got this which looks a little more sci-fi from Walmart for two dollars then you've got this uh, palm induction charger the palm touchstone from eBay for $7.50. So these are the options that I have for my movie, and these are also various resources you can have on yours. This has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.